Hi, everyone. Today, we we'll would like to uh, go through relationship map in SAP one, uh, business one. Okay, let's hopefully everybody can see my screen. I can see it. Excellent. Okay, so the relationship map in SAP business one gives you a whole picture of in a sales and purchasing process when you just have one piece of information on hand. For example, if um, you have a sales order number or you have an AR invoice number, you would like to know oh, what was the process at that uh, document and if it has been paid or what, uh, where we're sitting on that. So I am going to go through an example using sales order one A0, um, and then we'll see what's the relationship map show for that document. And um, there are different views under the uh, relationship map as well. We can see a different relationship between this document. And first of all, uh, we'll show you how to access um, the relationship map and navigate between the different views. I am going to switch over to my SAP business one. All right, so this is a nice um, demo database in, in the US uh, localization. And first of all, I was given a sales order uh, number and asked me to find out what um, the status of an AR invoice. So I am going to navigate into my menu. Okay, so in, this is a 9.3 version, so you can find sales order either in CRM module or sales AR module. All right, so we open the document. I am going to find, enter and find both. Enter the document number. And to access the relationship map, you right click in the document and you, where the group's in the window, and you will see relationship map as the last um, menu option on the menu. So we open it up, and you're looking at um, the one of the common use of view of a relationship, relationship map, which is a document tree view. And there are six views all together. So there are posting details, related items, which means that what are the item maps that are related to it. Um, reference documents, this is a new feature that we would like to um, briefly touch at the end before we finish this uh, webinar. And there is um, related to blanket agreement, which is if you have any blanket agreement related to the sales order, you will see a relationship map here. Also, as uh, a pick list, which means if you created a pick list related to this document, you will see that um, I can show you real quick with a different document later on uh, to show this one for you. And that's how we are, uh, how to access relationship map and different views about it. Okay, how to read the map is the next um, topic that I would like to uh, show you. So the definition of the views and uh, shows open, close, cancel documents and balance view colors. That's something that I would like to uh, show you in the relationship map. And I have the sales order and I was asked to find out if the AR invoice was fully paid and let's find out. Okay, so in this sales order, um, first of all, I would like to point out the um, highlighted yellow area means that we pulled out this relationship map from this sales order. And the other documents are in blue, which means they are related to this document. And um, when we're using a copy from or a copy to functionality, it will give you this link as AP created automatic in the background. And this is a base document and this is the target document. Okay, and it shows you the business partner uh, for this document on the top left. It also uh, this is, shows the document status open or closed. If you have the money back here with a check mark, then this has been paid. Uh, it has a document number, date, reference, BP reference, and the amount on there. So when you hover over it, the system will automatically show you what that, that information related to. Okay, so if you have a cancel document, for example, it's this one as a cancellation of the document, and you see it, the status is canceled. It shows this big circle with uh, 
red bar, a bar in the middle telling you this is actually a canceled document. All right. Um, all sold. And if you are, uh, so the colors at the bottom here uh, that I would like to uh, show you is the green means it's a, related to a down payment invoice that has been fully paid. Yellow means there is a payment against this uh, AI invoice. And the red bar at the bottom means that that's the outstanding balance to be paid. So if I open up this AI invoice, you will see there is a down payment against this, which is uh, related to the green bar at the bottom. And the amount applied, $10,000, is the yellow bar. And the balance due is the red, red bar at the bottom. So that shows uh, our AR invoice has $20,000 to be paid in this scenario that I would need to tell my boss that's the status of this AR invoice. Um, okay. Actually, um, so how did I open the document? By double clicking it. So for example, I wanna see what's the information on this document. You can just double click on the document and you will be open. So some open that for you and you can see the information from there. Okay, and I would like to show you, so that's the document tree view. And I would like to show you uh, the posting detail for this document because we are in a sales order, we don't have any GR um, posting into this document. That's why you don't see anything. So if I close this, sorry, if, let's go back to the tree. And if I open up my AI invoice again and open up my relationship map, so you right click at the menu and you find it at the bottom. So if I change to post saying detail this one, then you will see the general entry posted again to this AR invoice and the uh, reconciliation that has been done. Uh, we, this was done by system automatically, so um, you can see it from like this view. The next view I would like to see, oh, I show you, already show you the related item to the document. So because it's generated from the same sales order, so you should be able to see all the same um, item maps related to this document. I don't have any blanket doc, uh, agreement to show you, but you could um, try on your one of your documents that has a uh, blanket agreement assigned to this document, then you should be able to see the blanket agreement that attached to this document. For the pick list, I have a different document that I would like to show you how that was done. And that will be I created a pick list based on this document. So that's why you see a pick list as locked into the relationship map for you. Uh, this one tells you, oh, this pick list was generated from the sales order. So you have this view as well for your information. Um, if you have many pick lists from based on the same sales order, then you will probably see you will see them on the same view. Okay, I just happen to have one, so the only one displayed. Okay, right, let me open up my sound folders again. And the last view I would like to discuss a little bit more as a reference document. Okay, let me switch back to my presentation. The reference document. This is a new feature in 9.2. Um, user could manually link documents uh, by creating uh, a reference document by using a button in the sales order. I'm not sure if you know it, but if you have been using the system for a little while, you may notice this new button in the system. So if I'm going back to my SAP, so you can see I have created a purchase order that links to the sales order manually without the system doing it. So how did I do it? Okay, let's go to this. Sorry, I forgot to mark down my purchase order number. And I'll go back in. 
actually you can open it from here. Okay, so that's a purchase order that I created. So I'm double clicking into it. And this button is located under the accounting tab. There is a new um, option here it's called reference document. When I created this purchase order, given the scenario probably was I created a sales order if I it wasn't I needed to create a, a purchase order, but I forgot to uh, include it in my procurement wizard or procurement document. I created this purchase order manually and I used this button and reference this sales order into my reference to um, table. You can actually do this for all the marketing documents that available in SAP. So that's your menu option. And if I select something else, for example, return, system will enable this document number field for you to select a document that is available for you to select. Um, this feature is applied to all the documents in your system. It does not look at uh, the customer BP method that or whether it's a link or not. No, it's just basically list all the documents that are available in your system and you can select one that you want to apply to it and say update. You can also give a remark here to just for, uh, it will be a reminder for yourself how, why the reason that you would like to uh, relate the two documents. And once you're done and say, okay, then system will create this link uh, for you and it's only visible under the reference document view for you. Okay, so that's how it was um, created, this link. And the button is located under the document, accounting, reference document. And because I'm in a sales order, so it will be appear under my document reference by tab. And you can see this is the document that uh, we just looked at and it was referenced to the sales order. 